topic is about uh, is type 1 diabetes in hereditary disorder so obviously uh, the uh, we all know that uh, the type 1 diabetes is also called as juvenile diabetes so one of the major reason for uh, this occurring is the autoimmune disorder which the child develops from this childhood so autoimmune so that is itself is very clear that his immune system is being killed by his own cells that is called as the autoimmune system so the diabetes um, the type 1 diabetes it also is also an autoimmune disorder which is happening in the child so these uh, children they uh, they develop the diabetes uh, they show this in certain child children they develop this until very early maybe from his birth or uh, some children they develop in the later stages then the symptoms they appear in later stages so um, this type 1 diabetes is an hereditary uh, disorder it is because of the autoimmune uh, disturbances which are occurring in the child reduce the risk of uh, passing the diabetes uh, to the next generation so uh, this is a very uh, interesting uh, topic uh, because um, you may all know that uh, the type 2 diabetes mentors uh, can be little controlled by the little lifestyle modification we all know that the bmi of the indian population is much more higher when compared to the uh, western population and also the diabetes is a very important uh, cause when it goes into the uh, hip waist ratio the hip waist ratio of the indian population is very much more when compared to the western population so a little uh, modification should be done in the lifestyle to brought about the control of the type 2 diabetes so this can lead to the not transferring to the next generation diabetic emergencies so the diabetic emergencies so mostly the emergencies in the diabetes it occurs in the patients who use insulin for the treatment so insulin uh, is a very uh, tricky thing uh, to treat and for the doctors and as well as, as the patients so both has to be equally educated about the usage of the insulin because uh, once uh, the patient is going to uh, is not going to properly or improperly give the insulin his blood sugar is going to be shoot up to a higher level and uh, that may cause uh, a hyperglycemic effect and if the patient uh, is not is not is giving an overdose of insulin to himself so that uh, leads to the hypoglycemia so there should be a balance between the effects of the hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia so if this balance is not maintained then the patient is going to go into a diabetic emergency so we all know that uh, the diabetes uh, it occurs because of lot of factors it is because of the food it is because of the genetic materials it is because of the genetic influence or the environmental influence which happens so there is the diabetes is not because of one uh, good reason it is because it is a combination of a set of reasons which leads to diabetes so diabetes uh, we all know that the diabetes can be broadly classified into type 1 and uh, type 2 or type so type 1 it occurs in the young children patients and type 2 in the adults so this uh, apart from the type 1 and type 2 diabetes there is also other uh, types of diabetes that is called as immoda there is an acute onset diabetes mentis so this cannot be uh, in um, uh, the diabetes is cannot be categorized into a family disorder it is also uh, depends upon the environmental factors and also the genetic variations which are occurring 